Do you want to know how to make 2D and 2D 3D hybrid games with Unreal Engine 5? If that's the case, I created a comprehensive course with 12 hours of video footage where I teach you all you need to know about Paper 2D and Paper ZD. So make sure to check it out from the link in the description. We'll create four different games that are all designed to teach you about 2D game creation step by step and become more complex as we go along. The first game is a one button mini game which tests your reactions. After the duel starts you need to draw your sword quicker than your enemy. It's a very simple game, however it allows us to create a full game loop and a complete game while also learning about the basics of Paper 2D. I'll teach you how you can import and set up your sprites, adjust the sword order, switch sprites during gameplay to go into the attack or defeated state and much more. You'll also learn many gameplay related things such as how we can make use of timelines to move the sprites around the screen and also how we can create a timeline event to trigger certain actions with precise timing. We'll also create a game mode that keeps track of the round time, switches between the different game phases and also resets the entire game after each round. I'll also talk a bit about inheritance and how we can use child blueprints to share certain functions and variables between different classes and also keep the functionality of the player and NPC separate. The second game will be slightly more complex than the quick draw minigame and uses actual collisions and character movement. In concept it's similar to those retro track and field and olympics games where you mash two buttons to make your character run faster and faster. And I decided on this game because it's the next natural step and creates an opportunity for me to teach you many interesting things about Paper 2D and sprite sheet usage. Here we'll start to use sprite sheets for the character. We look at how to extract sprites from the sheets and also how we can create flipbook animations from them. We'll also look at advanced things we can do with a flipbook such as triggering an event on a certain frame, in this case to play footstep sounds and also how we can dynamically adjust the flipbook play rate depending on how fast our character is running. When it comes to the enemy AI, we'll also create something slightly more advanced than the first project and start using an actual AI controller. This controller will possess the second character and turn it into a rival we can race against to see if we can beat it. We'll also create a blueprint for our stage which we can dynamically update by using the constructor script. This way we only have to change a single number for how many stage parts we want to have and it will automatically update the amount of sprites and the size and location of our stage collisions. The third game is a classic platformer game. We're gonna go over many different game mechanics and little details you've probably seen in jump and run games you've played before. First I'll show you a new method of importing sprites through a JSON file which makes the process a lot easier and we can generate all of our flipbooks with the click of a single button. Here we'll also start to use the free paper ZD plugin to set up our animation graphs for our characters and play events through anim notifies. We're also gonna go over tile sets and tile maps for the first time in this course and use them to create and design our own level. We'll also focus much more on the player character and make sure that it feels nice to control by polishing up the settings on the character movement component. We'll also implement Coyote Time, which you may not have heard about before, but I'm pretty sure you've experienced it in some games you've played. This will basically allow the player to jump not just while being grounded, but also slightly after walking off a ledge and it makes the game feel much more responsive. Another technique to make the platforming more responsive that I'm gonna teach you here is jump buffering. It often happens that you press the button maybe a bit too early before you land on the ground again and your jump won't activate. With a simple jump buffer we can save that input and apply it once the player touches the ground to again make the game feel much more responsive and smoother. We'll also go over defeating the player if it touches the enemy and also over stomping the enemy when jumping on its head, which is a very common thing in platform games you definitely need to know about. The enemy AI will also get an upgrade and instead of just having the character walk forward blindly we're gonna implement ledge detection and wall detection to make the enemy turn around if they hit a wall or before they fall down a ledge. Speaking of ledges, I'll also show you how to create a one-way platform which you can jump through from the bottom but don't fall through from the top, which is again a cornerstone of jump and run design. And we'll also update the enemy AI to be smart enough to detect those platforms as well. The fourth game is the biggest and most advanced one of them. Here we'll again use Paper ZD to build on top of all the things we've already learned over the last three projects to create an even more advanced and exciting game. This will also be our first 2D 3D hybrid game. This means in our case that we use a 2D pixel art character but use 3D backgrounds, which in my opinion is the holy grail of making Paper 2D games with Unreal Engine. With this method we can keep the distinct and crisp pixel art look of retro games but also make it look high definition through the amazing lighting and all the other advanced features of Unreal Engine. We're gonna use this great looking stylized Egypt map which is one of the permanently free assets in the Epic Game Store and we'll block out a small area in here which we'll use to design our levels. In this game we control a pirate captain and the jump and run mechanics are pretty similar to our tower climb game. But we'll expand upon that and also add a lot of combat mechanics here. This time around though we'll set the game up in a way that we can't only walk left and right but are also able to go up and down. 
This is something you might need to know for a variety of different game genres such as beat em ups, adventure games and also for certain metroidvania style games. We're gonna use a brand new feature of Paper ZD which are animation overrides that allow us to very easily play attack animations without having to add them to the animation graph and making it overly complicated. You'll also learn how we can create a hitbox and trigger it on a certain animation frame so that we can apply damage and stun the enemy with precise timing. You'll also learn how we can make the attacks feel more impactful by using hit stop and also making the sprite of the attacked character shake left and right. When it comes to the enemy AI, this time around it's gonna be the most advanced one we've created yet. Here we won't just use the AI controller but also set up a blackboard and a behavior tree to make the AI chase the player and also attack when it's nearby. This will also work perfectly fine in 3D space and I'll also show you how we can handle the rotation of the enemy sprite in this case. To lean a bit into metroidvania game mechanics I'll also show you how you can create an ability unlock system. This will allow us to learn the sword throw attack which we can of course use to defeat enemies but we can also stick the sword into the wall and use it to reach higher places. And in true metroidvania fashion this will allow us to reach areas we were unable to reach before. We can also unlock a double jump ability and then use the sword throw together with the double jump to open up a new area and reach the goal of the game. As you now hopefully understand this course is jam packed with content and by far the best way to learn about 2D game creation with Unreal Engine. So make sure to get it from the link in the description and level up your paper 2D skills rapidly. 